Sunday, December 7, 9, 10 a.m. This Florida soft therapy came in with swollen eyelids about uh, three days ago and uh, has been warded for treatment of the swollen eyelids. Now, as you can see, the white patch on the lower 6 to 8 o'clock side of his cornea has almost disappeared and the uh, eyelids are not swollen now so he definitely has recovered from cornea abrasion or ulceration when he was housed in a new place and uh, according to the owner he came from Florida has a small has a small juvenile therapy five years ago he's been fed on streams and uh, we'll be going back to Florida back to the first owner his sister Soon. So as you can see, he's been well looked after, been given streams only and uh, sunlight. But uh, in the last two weeks, when they changed to a new, new, new uh, housing, he wasn't given sunlight daily. And uh, this could be one cause of his swollen eyes. To me, it could be water, uh, dirty water and bacterial infection now definitely it looks much better and uh, she'll be going home on Monday tomorrow it's very rare to see a five-year-old terrapin looking quite good the colors the shell this is also known as the red ear Glider, red ear slider. He certainly is a male. You see the long claws, small head, flat uh, undershell, and uh, overall, today being sunny, the photography video should be better. Weighs about 500 grams. As far as his housing is concerned, I don't know whether he has a big tank or, or a small tank. I think in Singapore, therapies are normally housed in aquariums, tanks. Let's see the eye again. Compared to the previous video, the house uh, eyelids are no more swollen, and the, the white white plaque on the six to eight o'clock side of the cornea is almost gone. Looks quite clear now. Both eyes are no longer swollen, most both eyelids. Some sunlight. 9 a.m. sunlight to focus to show the eyes, to check on the eyes again.